on today's ChurchTechCast.com screencast show, using tags to organize media in ProPresenter 6. Hi, and welcome again to another episode of the ChurchTechCast.com screencast show. This is the show where every week I help you use software in the church. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. I'm your host. I'd love for you to join the conversation, by the way, so just leave your questions below the video. Also, while you're interacting with the page, subscribe. That is the best way to hear about new stuff as it comes out. So... In the last week, as I'm recording this, um, Renewed Vision has released ProPresenter 6, and I'm really excited about it because it really gives a lot of features that a lot of people have really been excited to see. So, one of those helps you organize media, which can feel a little dry, but I think it's actually pretty exciting, especially when uh, your worship pastor or your senior pastor says, um, yeah, we need something with a more energetic feel for the background or something like that. So let's head over to my computer and we'll take a look at how to use that. One of the great new features in ProPresenter 6 is down here, might not be immediately obvious, but here we have tags. Now, the first thing I want to show you is if you click on a tag and then slowly click on it again, you can change the name. So you're not locked into these, you know, blue dominant might not be something that you're interested in, but subtle maybe, maybe high energy isn't. Maybe you want to call that youth. So we just do that, and all of a sudden this is youth. So that's the first thing I want to show you. But the second thing you've probably already noticed there are no videos in here whatsoever. So how do you use this? Well, it's actually pretty simple. We're going to go over here. and Let's say that we want to use this one right there. Okay, and we want to tag that. Well, we right click and you'll see you've got your tags here. And as you mouse over them, you can see that that's subtle, that's youth. So that was previously high energy, I believe. Nature and blue dominant. So I can say that this is a subtle one. And then as soon as we go back to subtle, you'll see that, yes, in fact, subtle is here. Well, it's subtle because it's an image, but, you know, whatever. So we can also go um, here. This looks blue dominant to me. So I can now right click and put that as blue dominant. So that is good and we see that it shows up here and removing them is just as easy so you right click on it and if you mouse over the one that it's in, so this is blue and it says blue dominant, mouse over that you can see that it, all the rest of them say add, add, add. This one says remove, so I can remove that, and as soon as I click off of that, it disappears out of the blue dominant. Okay, so nice and easy to do that. But the next question you may have is, well, what if I need more than these tags? How do I do that? No problem, let's right click on this one. And we've got these four tags, well, down here, plus add custom tags, so that's what we're gonna do. Let's call this uh, abstract nature because that one absolutely fits. So we're going to go down here and you'll see that we have abstract nature. And we click on that and you can see that is, it's got some plants, so it's nature, but it's kind of odd, so it's abstract nature. And that could be whatever you want it to be. So I think that this is a great feature for organizing things quickly so that you can know, oh, 
these are all the youth backgrounds. These are all the kid backgrounds. These are all the nature backgrounds, etc. Um, we have a group of backgrounds at my church that are all bokas. So if you're familiar with the photography term, that would be a great tag to use as well, bokas. So I hope that helps as you're uh, organizing your backgrounds at your church. Well, I hope that helped you. As it turns out, it's one of those things that seems dry and boring, but boy, when you need it, you need it. And that can really cut through some of the clutter that you've perhaps already accumulated in ProPresenter 5 and earlier versions. If you like this content, please, by all means, head over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash gifts, G-I-F-T-S, and there you can find all manner of church tech gifts that I have for you. That's right, you, and I'd love to give them to you, but I need you to go claim them. Now, what I also want to do is I want you to join me on my free email newsletter where you'll hear more tips and tricks from me and uh, more of the great stuff that's coming up at trinitydigitalmedia.com because let, let's be honest, you church techies out there, like me, we just need as much support as we can, and sometimes we're forgotten, so that's why this company exists, just to help you out, and to free up your time, and just make things better for you. So, until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com. Digital Media.com.